croquet has been a part of the Alexander family for as long as I can remember. I've been married 21 years and most weekends my husband is typically on the croquet course at least five to six hours a Saturday. You know, so, some of the games could take up to three, three and a half, four hours for one game. So croquet for the Alexanders is very competitive. You don't just go out and play a friendly game of croquet. I doubt there is a single family in America that plays as much croquet as we do, let alone at the competitiveness that we play at. Tempers can flare and mallets can get thrown and fists can can get thrown and uh, it, it can get um, um, can get a little ugly. We may have had to pay to have a neighbor's siding replaced because of just a mallet getting thrown or a ball, I can't even remember which one, but it hit our neighbor's house. Although there have been some great moments in croquet history, I'm not sure there's a single moment that will ever top the infamous mallet throw uh, by Blue Ball. So the throw is kind of the infamous time when I chucked my mallet uh, 70 feet and it went into the side of our neighbor's house. It actually broke through the siding of our neighbor's house, went in there like Thor's hammer. That throw was well worth the $1,100, hands down. As we're playing, we reference each other by the color ball that we're playing with. So I've always been green ball. Uh, my dad, Jason, has always been blue ball. Uh, Jimmy Wayne has always been yellow ball. Uh, Uncle Scott has always been red ball. And Aunt Papa has always been black ball. That will never change. The 2016 strategy and gamesmanship came into the game pretty heavily, especially based upon us having a trophy at the end of the year. And the Alexanders being as competitive as we are, everybody wanted that first year, the trophy the first year. Um, we decided to look at it on an annual basis, and whoever had the highest percentage of wins at the end of the year got the coveted, what we know now as the Alexander Croquet Trophy. Uh, and 2019 was probably the most special year because my father uh, won it in 2019. He was 78 years old, 79 years old at the time, and battling cancer. 2019, what he did was just um, remarkable. This past year, um, that croquet trophy got to go with my father-in-law um, to his grave. He um, passed away in August, and that was something that we included with him along with his black ball, um, as he wouldn't have had it any other way. That was just that important to him.